Hey, what's up? I'm just doing this demo for a Fallen Order Saber that I am selling. Uh, this doesn't belong to anyone yet, uh, but I like to do the demos for all the sabers that I install anyway. So I thought uh, I would just do this ahead of time right before I post it up for sale. And then that way um, I can point anybody who might be interested in this guy to this video. Uh, this is installed with a Profi V2. It has been weathered uh, with a mixture of aluminum black and a little bit of paint. I'm just trying to give it a good view of what's going on here. The intention in this weathering was just to make it look grimy, right? Uh, it's, uh, I mean, it was beat up in the video game. I've done several different styles. I was just trying a little something different, trying to make it look grimy, but yet not the same as what I always do. So um, while this one looks dirty as well, you know, these are two totally different styles of weathering. Um, it is installed with the CC Sabres LEDs. I'll take the blade plug out. So you got the, those in there. Uh, this is a Profi V2 two button setup. So main switch here, activation back here. That's the auxiliary switch back here. So we just want to take this handle off. Got a few threads on the coupler. It's a snug fit. The chassis is a snug fit in this guy, um, but it's like that on purpose. So I do like to put an accent pixel here on the back. It lights up all the holes back here on this pummel piece. So because of that, there are a lot of wires running in, in here, but what you don't see in this video is there's an actual wire channel right here where all these wires go and it lays, so the battery lays on top of them and they don't get in the way of clearance. Uh, you can see your profi board right here and you can get to your micro USB, but if you wanted to get to your SD card, you would need to flip it around on the bottom where the aux switch is and take this greebly off right here. It's just held in place with some E6000. Uh, there's three set screws under here and the one towards the very front of this guy is your chassis retention. So you would unscrew that one set screw Come back over here, carefully pull this guy out, do what you need to do to your board for programming, and then slide it right back in place just how it is right now. So it's it's in line with this the top of the board and this greebly and this activation switch is all in line. And that's how it needs to be because my tactile switches are on my chassis, not static in place underneath these plungers. So because of that, when this guy goes back into place, it needs to be lined up properly in a, so that it could hit those plungers right there. So let's throw a battery in. This means everything cannot fail. Again, snug fit, but it all fits. I like to make these snug so that the uh, handle actually acts as a chassis and reinforcement and a battery re cover and it's all in one. So there's no, there's no wiggling when this handle's on. These are lighting up like they should. And then you got this back here with that accent pixel. Nice and loud. Twist off. I'm gonna throw this blade in it real quick just to show that it works. Super tight blade socket on the 89 Sabres, but that's okay. If we wanted to use the activation, we could. Auxiliary. A little bit of a pre-off there. It is the dark saber. Just like that. And then we wanted to, we could just get to the soundtracks. Those play fine. Turn those off. And then we'll take the blade back out. So this doesn't come with a blade. Um, 
It doesn't come with a battery. Uh, it, it is it is the Sabre. It, it's a fully installed Sabre. That's what I'm selling. Um, take this battery out real quick. So uh, the chassis that I make for the this 89 Fallen Sabre, uh, the battery compartment is pretty tight. I needed to make it slightly shorter so that I could make up some room back here and have that room to put this accent pixel. Um, so because of that, you're gonna need a, a small tool to just take your battery out. Where normally I'd like to make it to where you can just come in and pop it out with your finger. But this just a tool and it, and it comes out real quick just as you just saw. And then I put this uh, handle back on for safekeeping. But um, yeah, that's the demo of this. Let me know if you got any questions. Thanks.